<laughs> okay guys so very good evening as i promised before your exam we will have image based session so today what possible images they can ask in psychiatry we will go through those images i hope it will be beneficial in exam if not direct image some mcq they can ask re, uh, re regarding these images so we'll go through it and if you have any query please directly ask me i think you are calm you are composed and now nothing to think you know much you have to be just more calm composed good sleep and revision of important points but the question is what is important yeah so important is according to you what you think that what you like you have gone through mcqs various papers topics subject wise test and now you can conclude okay this is important for me this topic is very important but i often forget or this subject is very important which i have to revise but now it's not stretch yourself so much now the time is to remain calm cool and revision and good sleep because the paper now started coming little lengthy they are clinical oriented so i think apart from you know you know the answer before that you should you know understand the mcq you have to go through the mcq so time management is very important crucial thing i think in these papers nowadays we have so for time management the you should be very very fresh so now don't try to revise new things and you know, don't try to read the new things just revision of topics which already you have command image based becoming more and more important area because the paper is totally clinically oriented so what they can ask in psychiatry the first image is we'll go through ect ect very important topic which you know electroconvulsive therapy so in electroconvulsive therapy they can ask ect we have covered total ect that the topic of ect we have covered nicely the sarlatti and bini has given the concept of ect in psychiatry in 1938 okay we have an modified ect or we call direct ect and we have modified ect unmodified ect is ect without anesthesia and modified ect under cover of anesthesia this mcq they ask that in ect which anesthetic agent we use we use succinyl coa and sodium thio pentone succinyl coa is we use as a muscle relaxant and sodium thio pentone as a we use for general anesthesia general anesthesia okay unilateral bilateral one electrode two electrode that everything you know about about ect okay currently according to current mental health care act bill we can't give ect to the minor and minor means less than 18 years of age less than 18 years of age and unmodified ect is crime unmodified ect is crime in according to current mental health care act bill unmodified ect is crime 
okay indication contra indication that you know you can go through the notes properly okay so this is one area they can the one image they can ask about is it second is we have rtms repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation in repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation basically we rtms in rtms we have repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation it's a non invasive procedure number 1 so it's a non invasive basically we create a magnetic field and in this magnetic field we create a magnetic field and in this magnetic field we you know localize on a on a particular brain area where we want to focus and th that's how we treat various treatment resistant psychiatric disorder so like treatment resistant depression treatment resistant schizophrenia treatment resistant ocd various treatment resistant psychiatric disorder we use repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation which is a non invasive procedure and we create a magnetic field and we treat the patient with this type of somatic therapy also we call it a somatic therapy <coughs> okay next is we have transcranial direct current stimulation tdcs transcranial direct current stimulation in tdcs basically is a is a basically another type of you know non invasive procedure tdcs we started using so transcranial direct current stimulation transcranial direct current stimulation tdcs is a form of neuro modulation it's a form of neuro modulation in we use low current low current flow we low current we deliver through electrodes through electrodes and basically these electrode we you know have on a head as you can see in the picture on head we have you know place electrode and in through this electrode we have constant low current delivery okay in this basically we initially this has been used initially we were using with the patients of head injury head injury but over the time we started using in a psychiatry you know currently we use like for the depression depressive disorder so initially we started using in a patients with head injury but over the time it actually we started using in a also depressive disorder depressive disorder okay 
so this is the tdcs transcranial direct current stimulation next we have cranial electrical stimulation the cranial electrical stimulation is another type of therapy in psychiatry cranial electrical stimulation is CES cranial electrical stimulation stimulation okay in this we have initially we started using in headache fibro myalgia headache fibromyalgia in insomnia depression in various pain neuroskeletal neuromusculoskeletal pains so headache fibromyalgia depression insomnia various pain like degenerative joint pain neuro musculoskeletal pains but there are we don't have a proper data about it we don't have good evidence for that so for exam point of view just you remember but we don't have a sufficient good evidence that it is really helpful in these various disorders cranial electrical stimulation the next is magnetic seizure therapy in magnetic seizure therapy in magnetic seizure therapy you can see we have a electroconvulsive therapy the alternative of electroconvulsive therapy we develop the magnetic seizure therapy in magnetic seizure therapy In magnetic seizure therapy suppose we have we use the high intensity magnetic field we use the high intensity magnetic field which we deliver through magnetic coil through magnetic coil magnetic coil and there is a basically this we on a on a very focused area so we have this flow of high intensity magnetic field through the magnetic coil and then we have a this freely they pass on a on a focused area on brain where we want to focus and what they do they create seizure they create seizure why we started finding this alternative to the electroconvulsive therapy because guys in ect basically the kind of we have a effect on whole brain but in magnetic seizure therapy basically we have the surrounded area have a minimal effect there is a minimal effect on surrounded area 
minimal effect on a surrounded area so it is more localized more focused in magnetic seizure therapy that's why it is started we having one option alternative to electroconvulsive therapy so in electroconvulsive therapy we give low you know amplitude electric shock and we develop the seizure it's a, it affect the whole brain not the localized area but in magnetic seizure therapy number one we don't use the electric shock we use the magnetic field we pass through this magnetic coil and on a specific focused localized area and it created it create the seizure and having a minimal <coughs> effect on a surrounding or surrounded area that's the advantage of magnetic seizure therapy in this basically we use in a various with psychiatric disorder we use the magnetic seizure therapy we use in a depression schizophrenia and obsessive compulsive disorder obsessive compulsive disorder the important side effect of magnetic seizure therapy if we have a the vomiting patient will have headache headache the muscle ache and fatigue so fatigue headache muscle ache and vomiting is a important side effect of magnetic seizure therapy correct next is so this is the alternative to ect vns vagal nerve stimulation vagal nerve stimulation also guys we have between rtms and ect oh, okay hello hello dear rtms and ect just just a second rtms see you can see the rtms is see this is the this is the just see ect we have like this so we put the this you know we put the even goes between the teeth to prevent the any injury tooth injury and we put the electrode this is a previous one but we nowadays also we put the the electrode on a on both side this is tragus of ear this is outer canthus of eye we draw an image line we take a midpoint and 2.4 to 4 centimeter above doctor uh, your name is doctor dristra is on a on a uh, you know on this area but in so and we put this you know where so the apparatus is entirely different of ect in rtms see this is a picture of rtms you will get in exam in this there is no electrode nothing this is a magnetic field we create and we lock on on a localized area we we use it so easily you will easily will differentiate this is a picture of rtms okay no electrode nothing no ecg no nothing no goes between the teeth so easily you will differentiate between ect and rtms next is yeah vns vagal nerve stimulation vagal nerve stimulation we use vagus nerve in left vagus nerve we put the put the this electrode the pulse generator we you know attach to this uh, we have a pulse generator we have electrode on a left vagus nerve vagus nerve basically we know it for the mood elevation so in vns
vagal nerve stimulation is a type of another somatic therapy okay we use in a treatment resistant depression treatment resistant depression we use so another mcq also they can ask guys that which nerve stimulation increases the increases the blood uh, sorry the increases the mood elevation yeah the answer is what vagus nerve dr dhampal is asking ki mst and it look like same no it it doesn't see in mst it appear but we have that the apparatus is different see this is we have this kind of apparatus you will get, you will get in a rtms they will show you this picture or like this you can remember like this okay and this is the mst not very we basically have not keeping there to localize we keep on head mst we rtms we keep the distance between head this major point you can remember guys that in mst we have on a nearby this head to localize the area and you know create a seizure but in rtms repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation we don't create a seizure so there is a difference between a difference between you know the the our head and the apparatus from where we are creating a magnetic field okay done okay so this is the vns and then we have dbs deep brain stimulation deep brain stimulation guys we have we have pulse generator we have a two electrodes and we put on on our we, with the help of neurosurgeon we make a hole and we put electrode there inside in deep brain stimulation dbs also a type of somatic therapy we use in a treatment resistant ocd where we put the electrode in ocd in internal capsule internal capsule deep brain stimulation okay next is we have projective personality test this is roshak test guys and this is thematic apperception test in roshak test we show the ambiguous forms and in this we show the pictures so we have various projective test in projective test we have a we have r o r s c h a c h roshak test and we have a thematic apperception test roshak test we show the mb was form and thematic apperception test we show the pictures so in thematic apperception test we have pictures in roshak test we have ambiguous form roshak test we use for diagnosis of psychosis and personality disorder personality disorder this is the use the important pictures they can ask deep brain stimulation for treatment resistant ocd vagal nerve stimulation for treatment resistant depression magnetic seizure therapy is alternative to ect 
to create a seizure and we have cranial electrical stimulation not much evidence tdcs we use and rtms in various treatment resistant psychiatric disorder schizophrenia ocd and depression and we have ect electroconvulsive therapy okay guys so these are the various pictures they can ask in psychiatry this much i wanted to tell you i will not take your much time we i tried my best i have given you the the youtube sessions for psychiatry also many important topics we covered otherwise i have taken the psychiatry on a, on a student demand i took a 3 hours special class of biochem as well what i could do i have done maximum still few days are left if you have any any issue any anxiety related issue any stressor any issue is there if i can help you i will be more than happy to help you out my mobile number i have given you previously also so if any issue please let me know double eight six zero two three eight four seven five and finally now i don't think now we'll meet yeah best of luck from my bottom of heart and just give your best but finally i am requesting you two three points now don't stretch yourself much now this is not not a time to stretch already you have done enough now the time is to just remain keep calm quiet and good sleep good food revision of important areas and that's it and don't think even a single time what is going to be the result just focus on a process result automatically will come best of luck from my bottom of heart and i i'm sure that you will rock see you after the after the exam just after the exam my humble request please try to drop me the mcqs of psychiatry and biochem so we can discuss them as soon as possible best of luck guys i will pray for you love you all good night give your best